Hello, hello. This is Morel at Study Coach UK. Storytelling and education to help you with your English language skills, particularly those who are ESOL, English as a second language, using storytelling to help you along. And by the way, I have, how do I say this? I'm implementing, big word, yeah, a little bit more education to help you along. So, and by the way, please subscribe to the channel, Study Coach UK. UK. Please subscribe. Let me read you a part of a story and set you a bit of a task. Once upon a time, began Mr. Bear, in the dear old-fashioned way, there was a great and wise gardener who had the largest garden ever seen. A wonderful and lovely place it was. And he watched over it with the greatest skill and care and raised all manner of excellent and useful things. But weeds would grow even in this fine garden. Often the ground was bad and the good seeds sown in it would not spring up. He had many under gardeners to help him. Some did their duty and earned the rich wages he gave them, but others neglected their parts and let them run to waste, which displeased him very much. But he was very patient, and for thousands and thousands of years, he worked and waited for his great harvest. He must have been pretty old, said Demi, who was looking straight into Uncle Fritz's face as if to catch every word. Hush, Demi, it's a fairy story, whispered Daisy. No, I think it's an augury said Demi. What is a augury? called out Tommy, who was of an inquiring turn. Tell him, Demi, if you can, and don't use words unless you are quite sure you know what they mean, said Mr. Bear. Okay, questions. What is the meaning of augury? That's what he said, augury. But please note that the spelling is allegory. A-L-L-E-G-O-R-Y. Yes, allegory. So what is the meaning of allegory? Next question, what is the meaning of under gardeners? What do you think that the term under gardeners mean? And um, what is the difference, if any, between the words sown and sow, S-O-N-N and S-E-W? So something for you to work on. And I will be back soon. I will be back shortly. So see, you can always listen to the story again and then see if you can find some answers to those questions. And by the way, please once again subscribe and please share Study Coach UK with others to help them with their language skills. So take care for now. Morale saying bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye.